Undeniable with Joe Buck season finale um, on Wednesday with Roger Clemens sitting down. I'm assuming you went everywhere with him, right? Hall of Fame, the, the Hall of Fame, poss- PEDs. What does he say? Uh, what does he say about that, stuff. Joe? Well, I mean, he, he gets hot, you know, and and he stiffens up kind of in his in the seat a little bit, and he he kind of gets an edge to him where you're worried that he's going to just reach over and whack you. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't take much to put me on the ground out of that chair (laughs) from him. He's a big man. Uh, But he adamantly denies it. Obviously he's not on the list of guys who have admitted use. Um, I talked to him about how people don't believe what he's saying. Uh, He wouldn't mention the name, Brian McNamee, um, who was right in the center of that controversy with him. And, uh, we, we, I, I jabbed around at all that stuff, let him answer it. I think that's kind of the beauty of the show is that if you're Roger Clemens or you're Michael Phelps or you, who, you're whoever, you get a chance to, in long form, answer allegations or talk about a low point in your life. And there's no, there's no time constraints. And I'm not going to jump in and insert or inject myself into the interview. I'm just going to let him go. And, Uh, I I think he felt good for that. So I'm not going to depose him. I'm not going to sit there like we're in a court of law. It's not 60 minutes. But I touched on all that stuff. I let him answer it. And then I think ultimately, like it is anywhere, the audience is left to judge for themselves whether you believe him or not. But I'll tell you, uh, if if he's not telling the truth, he does a really good job of selling you on his point. Do you hit the Piazza Bat stuff with him, Joe? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I remember. Yeah, I was, uh, oh, that was crazy. Well, you called the game, and I was in the park, too. And I'll never forget this. Day after that World Series with the Mets was over, uh, I was in a sports bar. It was right around Halloween, if it wasn't Halloween night. And it was a, there was a contest in the sports bar that Clemens was coming to be a judge for. And one of the, one of the guys who was there, his costume was a Mike Piazza jersey with a wiffle ball bat cut in half coming out each side of him and half of a baseball stuck to his helmet. And I said, you know, who's going to come here and, and judge you. And he said, who? And I said, it was Roger Clemens. And he got white as a ghost. Clemens came in, loved the guy, gave him a big hug, and then sat down and proceeded to tell me and my friends the story about what happened on the mound saying that he thought that the bat was coming at him was the ball. Yeah. and, and, And he went into that same, thing i just think he was so amped up and so you know whatever that that anything that came back to him i maybe it would be abnormal for a jagged end of the bat to come back um but i I just think he was so fired up yeah what i what i've noticed about roger clemens is that he is a really good guy and i didn't know him that well when he was playing i'd run into him at a golf event here and there uh, and, and he was very friendly, but I didn't know him as a player. He wasn't one of those guys that when I was doing a Yankee game, I'd go in the clubhouse and go over and uh, just start talking to him. I, I kind of left him alone. But when he got out there on that stage, you know, we showed a picture of his stepfather who basically raised him. His dad had walked out on the family when he was really young, and, and Roger was in a position where he really had to defend his mother against his father uh, with with a phone call one day to the house, and, and Roger had to be the one to pick it up and say, don't call here again. And when we put this picture up of, of Roger's stepfather, who was so close to him, he broke down and started crying. And he said, you know, that, that's not fair. I didn't know you were going to show pictures in this interview. But uh, he's a really good guy, and, and he walked out of there. Uh, we both did. I, I think uh, I, I think he had fun, and I can tell you I did, and, and I had even more respect for the guy af- after he left the interview. He was great. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.